Well, hey, church family, I want to take just a few moments and encourage you from the Word of God. Encouragement to you today is really simple, and it's this. Keep going. Uh, I don't know about you, but when uh, I heard uh, the news on Sunday that there were 30 more days of isolation, it wasn't the most encouraging, uplifting uh, thing to hear on a Sunday evening. And then that may have been a little bit of your response as well. As I woke up Monday morning, God drew uh, my thoughts to Luke chapter 11. As I've mentioned before, I've been reading through uh, the book of Luke actually very slowly. And I've been encouraged by a number of things. But in Luke chapter 11, there's the emphasis as the chapter starts on prayer. And the disciples ask the question, Lord, teach us to pray. And so the Lord uh, explains and teaches on prayer. And one of the emphasis as the chapter goes on is on the call from Jesus to ask. Uh, that in our prayer that we would ask. And we would ask knowing that our God is gracious, he's compassionate, and he answers according to his will and what is needed for our life. It was also that morning in James chapter 5, and again with that theme of, of persistence and continuing to press on really in James chapter 5 through the example of Job. Listen to what James says as he encourages the believers. In verse 10 it says, Brothers and sisters, take the prophet's who spoke in the Lord's name as an example of suffering and patience. And see, we count as blessed those who have endured. You have heard of Job's endurance and have seen the outcome that the Lord brought about. The Lord is compassionate and merciful. I find those words to be encouraging, and I hope they're encouraging for you that we would suffer, uh, that we would endure hardship and difficulty to whatever degree that we're facing. Uh, that we would experience that, but we would do that with patience, knowing that the Lord is bringing about something in our life. And we don't always know what that is, but I do know this. God is at work in our life, even through uh, these times of social distancing and isolation. And we can trust the Lord that he's doing that. And we can trust him because he's compassionate and he's merciful. And so my prayer for each of you, my family, for even my own life, is that we would not grow weary in doing good, and that we would use this time to draw near to the Lord and that he would bring about great things in our life and even our love for him. And uh, that also during this time that we would uh, seek to be a blessing to other people. I end with really the same challenge that I've given our youth group all this week. How can you be a blessing to somebody this week? Uh, there are so many simple, small ways that we can bless others that bring about great encouragement in other people's life. And so uh, may we wait patiently on the Lord and what he's doing right now and rest and rest well because he is compassionate. He is merciful. We love you. Uh, it is again, a giant understatement to say how much that we miss you. And I know I speak the same for Pastor Strope and Pastor Brad, and we long for the day uh, that we can be together in person. So we're praying for you. God bless.